buddy. That was nasty. This game is sick, guys. Shredders has been out for, what, four days now? It came out on March 17th. And I've been clocking in mad hours in this game. I already have 28.3 hours. Quite literally, I have more than one days of game time in the past four days. That's kind of absurd, honestly. But I think I'm ready, guys, to share some stuff with you today. So let's do it right now. When you're playing the game and you're just cruising around, you can hold the Y button to spawn a drone. And this drone, you could basically use it as a pin drop or like Skater XL. This drone mode is not only for looking around, but you can actually spawn your character wherever you want. So you can use the drone to find new spots in the map, place yourself down, and it's just a great way to kind of travel and look around the mountain for new spots. The next feature, guys, it's really key. I kind of found this out recently. I'm in the drone mode. And if you hold the left bumper and press up and down on the D-pad, you can change the positioning of the sun to go beneath the map or above the map and change it to basically day and night. The sun could be wherever you want at any given time. It changes the entire environment. It's pretty sick to have that. It's amazing. One of the biggest questions I've been getting is how to spin and flip faster in this game. I think even with my tips, you'll have to practice just a little bit, but all it comes down to is timing, really. But the mechanics of actually flipping faster is very easy, and all it requires is you to grab quickly. This game is very physics-based, so I think of it like real life. The, the smaller your body is, I guess, when you're spinning, the faster you'll go. So essentially, the quicker that you grab after you do a flip or a spin, the faster you guys should spin. Another question I get a lot is how do you do a tail and nose press? This is pretty simple. It's in the game. You hold the left trigger and you press up or down on the right stick and that'll allow you to press your nose or tail. Now from there, you can also use the left stick to steer your body. So you can press left and right to kind of spin your body around as you're doing a tail press or nose press, or you can press up and down on the left stick to actually get more of an angle. So assuming that you know how to tail and nose press already, guys, you could actually do tricks into a tail and nose press and out of them as well. There's a few ways you can initiate a butter. You can kind of flip into it and do whatever you want, but I find a really consistent way to do it is to carve into it. Go at like a 90 degree angle, then you can press the pop button and this will allow you to spin around 180 and that should initiate a good position for a butter. So you can nose press and tail press. Then from there, guys, when you're holding a nose press, you'd actually pop out of it and pre-wind out of it too. You got the left trigger press you got the sticks up you got the left stick up as well you can actually start holding the right trigger and when you're holding all these four inputs you can pre-wind it and do the same thing that you would do for the fast spins and flips and then let it go butters are definitely kind of an end game goal that i'm still working on myself and if you have any more tips guys leave a comment down below and let me know what you have found over time if you go to the binding menu at the very bottom right corner, it'll say you can switch your stance. And that's how you change the Goofy. It's kind of weird that it's buried in the menu like that, but it's there. So if you want to change your stance, you can switch to Goofy. So you got a trick, right? You go to the replay editor. The next step is to delete the keyframes that are currently existing. So you just kind of scroll through the D-pad, press down to delete the keyframes. And what I recommend is to leave the last keyframe there, because if you delete it, the camera will go all wonky and not know where to go. So just, I recommend leaving the last keyframe there as you're editing. Then delete that one later. Delete all the keyframes, leave the last one, go back to the beginning of your timeline, go wherever you want, press up on the D-pad, and that will be your first keyframe. Then you can scroll over with the D-pad to kind of fast forward and just keep doing that over time. Just kind of, you know, place different keyframes down. And as you get to the very end of your timeline, you'll have the, your entire thing kind of keyframed up. You could scroll back and play it and you'll have a clip. If you have any experience at all with replay editors and games, you can apply it to this game very easily. It's fairly simple to figure out. And if you haven't filmed before, this game is the perfect one to start off with because it has the simplest replay editor I've ever seen. So the last thing I want to mention, guys, is you can actually install mods and shredders already. I've been making clothing and boards and stuff, but I have them all posted in my Discord. You can download them and install them there. There's also a new shredders modding Discord that got me all started and stuff with tutorials. So if you want to figure out how to install mods and make your own mods for shredders, basically just clothing right now. We don't have any script mods yet. They might be coming soon i don't know i really can't wait to see where the mods can take us and where this game goes with official updates it's gonna be sick if you guys have any questions or you want to hang out or just find out more about shredders come hang out on twitch guys we're still in the honeymoon phase of this game guys it's amazing we're still learning every single day it's amazing anyways guys i hope you're all enjoying the game as much as i am and i'll catch you in the next video later